people from all over are gathering to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin joins us now live from the Triangle Interfaith Prayer Breakfast with a look at what's going on right now. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning to you. Breakfast is just getting underway. The doors to the public opened just 15 minutes ago. The keynote speaker will be speaking at 7.15 this morning, but we expect more than a 1,000 people to show up this morning. So I'm speaking to one of them. This is LJ Yarborough. He is the Vice President of Corporate Relations with the National Black NBA Association Incorporated. And Mr. Yarborough, this is not your first time attending this Martin Luther King event. No, it's not. I actually come back uh, every year. I look at it as an opportunity opportunity to fellowship, see some of my friends and from the community, and it's just always a, a really, a really classy event. Besides, the, the food is free, and, you know, that gives me a 90, offers a 90% chance that I'll probably show up. <laughs> but, and you brought a dozen or so kids from the Triangle, middle to high school age. Some of them may look at this as a day off. What did you want them to take away from today's event? Yes, yeah, so we definitely want our kids from our Leaders of Tomorrow program, uh, supporting the National Black NBA Association, to get an opportunity to come in and, and, and serve the community. You know, it's not just about having a day off. It's an opportunity for them to give back, to serving as ushers, to serving as greeters, and also walk away with a positive message uh, from today and understand uh, the legacy that Dr. King left in our great nation. Absolutely. And again, more than a thousand people do expect to show up. We're at the Sheraton Imperial Hotel. Breakfast will be from 6 to 8 o'clock this morning. Now, Pastor from right here in Durham is going to speak at 715. 